Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects store on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. Man, do I say that fast. Wow, okay. So, if you didn't see it in the intro, if you're blind or something, here's what we're learning today. Someone requested, they said, Eli, how do you make lava? And I was like, um, well, this is how you make it right here, and that's why I'm making the tutorial. So anyway, uh, it doesn't look like pizza. It's really cool. It's flowing, sexy, it has some depth of field going on over here, and I'm really excited to show you guys some techniques um, that I've never used before, so check it out, or that I've never taught you guys before. So anyway, um, before I get to the tutorial, check this out guys, we hit over 100,000 subscribers, I know 63, well, 64 of you guys are going to go unsubscribe right now, just so we go back down to... Oh, 999,000, nine, okay, I can't think right now because I'm on camera, but anyway, don't do it. Stick with us because uh, we need all the views and likes we can get. Look at this. How do we have 100,000 subscribers yet we only get 2,000 views in three days? What? Makes no sense. We, we earn like 4,000 subscribers every month, yet we barely get... 2,000 views it makes no sense I don't know if our videos just aren't getting to your guys' subscription boxes or something it's confusing me so uh, anyway that's a, that's a YouTube problem I don't know if it's a glitch or something but uh, I'm stepping off my little rant there anyway uh, check it out guys oh wait 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 before I even get to this I want to say please give the video a like and leave a comment because at the end I always show my favorite comments from the last video so your comment may make it to uh, next week's video so why not leave a comment, right? <laughs> Do it, or I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I'm kidding, it was Halloween, that's why I said that. No, I'm kidding. Okay, whatever. I'm getting weird now, so let's go <laughs> file new project, just so we have a nice clean slate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to this button down here, we're gonna click new composition. Let's just call this, la actually, liquid hot magma. <laughs> if you can name that whoa magma oh yeah why not that's how he says it uh if you guys can name what movie that's from i will love you forever so anyway full 1080p because that's how to ch check it does it that's 9 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second i'm only going to make it about five seconds um i'll be including the project file in the description at our uh, website check it, check it com. so go download it so anyway we can finally get to the tutorial now holy crap I was talking for a long time so let's do this I'm gonna right click down here I'm gonna go new solid let's call this lava okay let's go over to the effects and presets and type in frack toll noise okay drag and drop it onto lava and what we're gonna do is fractal type we're gonna drop that down to dynamic and contrast let's just beef that up to about 160 because that's how we like it and then brightness 15 uh transform uh well you know what we'll wait to transform it just so you guys can see what it does i know i i know how to do it so i know i'd change it right now but you know you guys are i'm just showing you right now so i'm gonna take it easy on you okay so make sure your timeline indicator is all the way to the left and we're gonna hit the keyframe stopwatch for evolution i'm going to drag it all the way to the back and we're going to type in two that's dos for spanish if you guys are spanish speaking even though i don't know why you'd be watching this because everything else is in english anyway <laughs> now let's go over to the effects and presets and let's type in corn because i'm from iowa and i love corn no it's because we want corn or pin drag and drop it to the bottom we're gonna zoom out twice using our scroll wheel drag these pins all the way to the outside to give it the illusion of it being 3d i know you guys all thought it was 3d huh i tricked you april fools no it was halloween so anyway let's drag these top pins out a little bit also and uh, now our lava is complete and we can right click and go up to pre-compose and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in lavra and this is going to be displace and we're gonna move all attributes to into a new composition hit ok and now our lavra displace is uh, we're actually gonna make it look 3d now so go over to your effects and presets and type in displace and we're gonna take a 
displacement map. We're going to drag and drop it onto the lava. And what we're going to do is make sure it has the lava displaced selected. The max horizontal displacement or whatever it is. Put that down to zero. And this one we're going to drag up to about, what, 23? Yeah, 23 looks pretty good. Oh, excuse me, I burped. So, anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the, actually first, let's select the lava displace. Zoom out using the scroll wheel. Click and hold shift and drag out until the edges aren't looking all stupid. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects and presets, type in invert, and we're going to invert it by clicking and dragging over here, boom. And uh, now you're done. Congratulations, guys. You have, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Goodness gracious. We have another step. So uh, effects and presets, we're going to type in color amma because we want the color ammo. We're going to drag and drop it under there. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop down the output cycle and on the user preset palette, we're going to drop it down and go to fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and that's when you get to the lava. So, yeah, now we just, uh, we kind of want to just spice it up. But first, we're going to go back to our other, we're going to double click in here and we're going to actually do that animation because I actually forgot to do that. I'm sorry. So we're going to drop down the transform options. We're going to make sure our timeline indicator is all the way to the left. And on the offset turbulence, we're going to click the stopwatch. We're going to go all the way to the back. Now, if you want it to go, watch. So I'm just going to hit zero. So it renders it. If you want it to go towards you, you want to go past 540. You want to go anywhere above 540 and it'll flow that way. See? But what I want is I want it to flow away from the camera because I hate it. I hate it so much. So I'm going to bring it down to about 180. Oh, 179 because 180 was too popular. I'm, I'm a hipster. So yeah, now it's flowing away from me and I love it. So that's, uh, that's what I was going for. So now we can go back to our 3D version of it. And now the lava's flowing away from us. It looks 3D and it's cooking and it doesn't look like pizza. It's so cool. All right, so now let's just make it look even more sexy. Let's right click, go new, adjustment layer. And before we do anything, let's uh, control D on that adjustment layer to duplicate it. And now the bottom layer, let's just call that, let's hit enter and just rename it to DOF for depth of field, of course. And the second one, let's hit enter and just call it edge muffin because I love muffins. All right, so depth of field, um, let's first go over to our effects and presets and type in blur, of course. And uh, what we want is we want to simulate that depth of field that we had in that beginning. So camera lens blur, of course, it's my favorite blur. Let's drop it down. First of all, let's make the edge behavior repeat edge pixels. Then let's go to our blur radius and let's go about nine pixels. Then let's make sure that we're on the ellipse tool by clicking and holding and selecting the ellipse tool. And then let's zoom out using the scroll wheel, go down to this bottom left hand corner and drag up and make it just go right to the back there. Let's zoom in, and that's looking okay, but what I want is I want to drop down these mask options. Let's invert it, first of all. Then let's bring the mask feather up to a ton, like 450. That's looking pretty good. Let's actually drag it back just, just a tidbit. And I like that a little more. All right, so depth of field is done. Now let's just make that edge muffin look nice. So let's select the pen tool and zoom out a little bit. And let's start down here and kind of, you know, work our way up and just follow the edge. I mean, you don't even have to do this technically. I'm just doing it because I'm a man. Boom, that's good. Uh, now let's go over to our effects and presets, type in bright. Boom, brightness and contrast. Let's drag and drop it onto Edge Muffin. And let's just drop the brightness down to negative 100. And what you will see is your lava is now done. So thanks for watching. <laughs> I got you guys. You thought it was done. That looks so stupid. Why would you even think that, you silly person? All right, so let's drop down the mask options. Let's invert it. And then let's turn up the mask feather a ton. Yeah, how about just, let's just make it an even number, 250. All right, 
and then maybe drag it out just a, just a tidbit. Okay, so now we're going to select the mask, and then we're going to right-click on the mask. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. We want the entire mask selected. Boom. Now we right-click the mask, and we go to Mask and Shape Path, and go to Roto Bezier, because it's French. Okay, and that just kind of smooths out a lot of the... Uh, things you don't have to do that step I'd do it if you may if you spend more time on it it'll look better if you actually take time and make a better you know freaking oh, I can't think mask than what I just made but in the end it still looks nice so there you go guys that's the end so um yeah I'm going to hit con control M to create a new Render, I'm going to drop it down. A lot of people like H.264, that's nice, but I always go with Windows Media because it's even smaller. <laughs> and the ladies love them small, am I right? Okay, anyway, uh, Liquid Hot Magma. Liquid Hot Magma. Alright, let's uh, Liquid Hot Magma example. Hit save. And then render. And with that, we are done. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I love teaching you guys new stuff. Thanks so much for all your support. 100,000 subscribers. Holy guacamole. I'm going to try to make a video tomorrow with Brandon if he's not too busy. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I don't know. I haven't even thought of it yet. But I already know it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I can make it. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited we got to that. Uh, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And um, thanks for watching. I'll probably make more tutorials next week. I've, I really like making so many tutorials i made two tutorials this week holy guacamole it felt so accomplished so uh anyway guys i'm gonna go to bed after i edit this and upload it but yeah i guess i'll talk to you in the comments so i'll see you guys on the next effects friday or sooner so peace out bye <laughs>